Hey guys and welcome to TVMS. In today's video I will be showing you guys how to make a booking and save it into the system. So the first thing you have to do is click on make booking from the menu bar and this would be the display which would come up on your screen where on top you first have the job reference number which is automatically generated by system default. Below this you have about five boxes which give you an option to select which pay type customer it is whether it's cash, account, card or check but I'll go for an account customer. Then you have to type in the customer's name or surname depending on how you have your customers saved into the system. So I'm just going to choose test account and there we go we have some details come up onto our screen so the first thing we'll do is to select the date of the booking so for this i'm just going to click on the date and choose one date from the calendar the plus one and minus one are used for selecting a day after or a day before's date then we can enter the time of the booking so i'm just going to put down 1700 similarly the digits next to the time function as minutes say for instance we can click on this plus five and it will change to 1705 then we enter the pickup and drop off addresses so i'm just going to put down heat ray and for the drop off let's put in a postcode and see what we get so by typing in a postcode you will get all the places within that postcode so i'm just going to click on one and here we go it would come up into the drop off address now you also have the option to save in the flight number below you have job comments where you can save instructions and any special notes related to the booking then you have the price boxes having two sides where one is for driver and the other one is for company you can save the job fare parking waiting and any of the charges in these boxes you can also set reminders for these jobs in case you want to follow up on a job then you have the options to enter the number of people traveling how many number of cars you need sending for this booking you also have the option to choose if they require a child seat or a booster seat or they have a wheelchair then you can give the driver the facility to edit fare whereas on the other hand you can also hide the booking from your driver when you wish to remove it from his side or you want to edit something in the booking which you don't want the driver to know then you have an option to flag and highlight a job and next to this you have a box where you can enter special notes as to why you are flagging this job. You can also choose which vehicle is required for the booking as well as select the status of the payment as if it's pending or has been received. Then you have a box where you can enter the mileage for the job. You have the driver's percentage box and any discount offered to the customer can also be saved into the booking. On the bottom of the screen you will have different names from where you can allocate and assign the booking to the person by selecting the little box next to their names besides that you can also send the job wire text by clicking on the little envelope which indicates message and you can also send a notification on the driver's app that a job has been assigned to him by clicking on the call out sign next to the envelope so these were some basic details which you may require for a booking however we have many more amazing options here to explore like on the top we have a button saying logs this would show the name of all the employees along with the actions and timings as to when they have been done. Then we have a complaint box where we can save a customer's complaint. We have an option to complete the job. We can also create multiple bookings by clicking on reoccurring job. We can filter these and have the option to exclude the days according to how we want to make the duplicate bookings. Now the system by default saves the booking as pending. However, you can also change the status as you want it to be. One very helpful and amazing function here is this option to go through all the customer's previous booking history at the same time when you're making the booking. So if you want to make a booking exactly the same in history, you can simply select it and it would automatically bring up the same addresses. It also helps you in checking the prices which you have entered for any previous jobs. You also have an option which is called the client's notes on the top where you can save any special instructions or directions given by the client for his particular booking. Below this you have a place where you can store the customer's card details. You can also add an address by clicking on via address and entering a different address into the booking. Here we go. And then simply save. 
and then at the end we have a separate section which also gives us different facilities like we can send the driver an sms with the job details we can also email the driver we can send the customer the email confirmation from this booking by simply clicking on confirmation email as well as thank you email we can also make a return job by clicking on this return job and you can enter all the return details by simply entering these fields and by clicking on save you can save both these jobs but i'm just going to go back to the main job Job. then you have the option to duplicate a job print the job generate a receipt from this booking and at the end you have save and dispatch which you have to click on once all the details have been entered so in short everything is present in this system anything you want a record of or anything you need to make a booking or to save in a customer's profile you have all the options there and you simply need to add them and save them so this is it with this video if you guys have any QBs please feel free free to email it to me and my team and we'll be happy to answer your questions please do not forget to subscribe thank you